good morning. So my expectations of how university was going to be like was almost 100% based off of movies I'd seen. And that's basically like going to high school expecting it to be like high school musical. There are people singing in class in high school. It's not because they're training for a musical. It's probably because they're on crack. Yeah, you, that food for thought. So according to movies, everyone in the university was supposed to know each other. You know, everyone would be like, oh, hey, Steve, how was, how was your weekend? You know, it's like, oh, no, my weekend was good, you know? Uh, but the reality is you come to university, you don't, you don't know Steven. Steven doesn't know you. You, you saw Steven once at orientation and you were like, oh, Steven, you know, but not really anything past that. So I think one big lie that they tell us in general is that we're going to know everyone. And <laughs> I'll tell you, I still go to class and I'm like, who in the heck of names is this? Who is this? Oh, Malena editing. Nice to meet you. So I just remembered one time when I went into a lecture and at that point I didn't know anyone yet. And I saw like a group of people and I, I was like, hey, good morning. Um, and one of them goes, do we know you? I've never heard a more condescending answer to good morning than do we know you. Hmm. Rude. Don't support. Anyways, okay, back to the video. Bye. So ever since we started doing lectures online, uh, I've started realizing how I know absolutely no one from my class. Like I look, sometimes when I open the panel to see like everyone who's attending, I sometimes think, yo, I think I might be in the wrong class. Cause I'm like, I have no idea who these people are. So universities, they, um, their marketing did a heck of a good job where it seems like, oh yeah, let's all grab brunch. Let's grab brunch together. Me, you and Steve, Steven's younger brother. It turns out that it's also pretty impossible to know everyone like it's a lot of people good thing about this is that everyone minds their own business it's like oh did you see that crazy thing barbara did last week it's like who the f is barbara another thing is that i expected clubs to really be like a thing you know like people actually care about clubs uh turns out people equally don't care about clubs in high school uh, and in university even associations get disregarded, which I think is really insane because like someone's putting so much effort for not even like a quarter or like an eighth of the student body to see it. So I expected that university sports teams were going to get a, like a little bit more hype because in American movies, it's a whole thing, you know, like the, the, the football games where everyone's just like cheering their banners. Turns out if you're coming to the Netherlands, uh, that's not the situation. The majority of university movies are American university movies. What we see from American movies is like the, the Greek living, you know, like Theta, Beta, Zeta. That's probably one. I'll, I'll, yeah, Theta, Beta, Zeta, what's up? How you doing? Last year I was in the volleyball team, in the women's volleyball team. But ladies won, so the highest women's volleyball team, they competed nationally. And I can tell you for a fact, no one came to watch their games. Only volleyball players came to watch their games. But the whole, oh yeah, let's be here, let's support our teams, let's support our university, lies. Betrayal, incorrect. Okay, and also, I thought, foolishly, that I was going to be taught by people with a degree. Because, and listen, listen up, listen up this, the sick system that the university has put together. Okay, so basically, you can be taught by someone who is one grade above you. So literally someone who's still doing the same degree you are can teach you your material. I don't know about you, but I had the impression that going into university, you're only going to be taught by people had a degree, you know, who spent some time studying it. And whenever they choose the people to teach the classes, they look more at the grades than at their social skills. So sometimes you, you get a teacher, like one year older than you, who's a genius. They're super smart, right? But they can't convert what they're thinking to like explanations. So they get frustrated that you don't understand it. But then you're just sitting there like, what do you want me to do? What I, I'm literally here to learn. And then lastly, I had the impression that everyone loved economics, right? So I study economics and I had the impression that everyone loved economics, you know? But turns out not everyone does. And I was baffled. And so once we were in a lecture and the, the professor, he draws an Edgeworth box. He tells the class that if you see this graph and it makes you happy, no, if it makes you excited to be alive, 
he didn't say that part, but I, I feel like that's what he was trying to convey. You're in the right course. And I remember <laughs> the person next to me turned around and goes, yeah, who the f would be excited about that? And I'm like, well now, well now I'm a little bit embarrassed. I am now embarrassed. I loved it. I loved it. I was so excited. Either way, university has been a blast. Even though it hasn't been anything like I expected, it's still, it's still been good stuff. Okay, that's it for today. Take care, wash your hands, social distance, bye!